In this demonstration we're going to look at modifying the default boot images that come with System Center Configuration Manager. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to come into my software library workspace in my System Center Configuration Manager admin console, I'll come to the operating systems node and go to boot images and we'll just double click our boot image x64. This brings us into properties, we're not going to bother modifying anything on the general page, we're not going to bother modifying anything on the images page, it just gives us information relating to the actual image properties. Drivers, this is where we can add additional drivers to the boot image. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my Microsoft Hyper-V network adapter. So I turn off a tick box to hide drivers that are not digitally signed. We'll select OK. Customization, so we can enable a pre-start command if we wish. We can modify the PE background with our company logo. What we can also do is specify a larger or smaller scratch space for Windows PE, our pre-boot environment. And what we've also got as well is we can enable command support. It says here testing purposes only. This is to give us command line in the case of us needing to do any troubleshooting. Data source tab. So we can see we're loading the boot.wim file from this location. We can see the image index. We could update the distribution points on the schedule if we wish. We could persist the content in the client cache. Enable the binary differential replication between distribution points. And also as well, we will deploy this boot image from the Pixie enabled distribution point, which we enabled in an earlier demo. Data access tab, so we can copy the content in this package to a share on distribution point, and we can also disconnect users from the distribution point as well if we're doing any updates. Distribution settings, so we can specify distribution priority. We can also distribute the content for this package to a preferred distribution point, and we can specify the behavior if we do enable for pre-staged content. So if we do, we'll automatically download content when they're assigned to distribution points. We can download only content changes to the distribution point, or we can specify that we manually copy the content. Content locations shows us the content locations. So currently no distribution points are actually assigned to this boot image. Optional components at this point here, so we can see all of the optional components. So what we'll do at this point here, we can see the components, as it says here, already added but we want to add a new one as well so let's select our new button and the one we want to add as well is let's add in our Windows PowerShell so we'll have a look down here scroll it down a bit further and we'll go for Windows PowerShell yep we're happy with select the optional component so we'll have the WinP NetFX and NetFX4 and we'll select OK then what we'll do is we select OK again Finally, what we've got is we've got the security tab, and in the security tab, we can see who can actually modify this image. Now we've modified all our settings, we'll just select OK. It says here we've made changes that require us to update the distribution points. Do we want Config Manager to update the distribution points now? So this point here, yes, we do. Just on the summary page, we'll select Next. Just on the progress, this is going to work through, so this will take a little while, so we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once we're at 100%. So it's now completed, so we'll select close. Next thing we need to do is we now need to actually just distribute that new image. So what we'll do is we'll just right click, we'll distribute the content. On the general page, we'll just select the next button, we're happy with the content. Content destination, we need just need to add our distribution point. Now what we need to do is select our next button. Just read through the summary and next again. Then select close. And now what we need to do is just wait for this boot image to be distributed out to our distribution point. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the content is distributed. And what we can now see is our boot image x64 is now distributed out to our distribution point. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.